All right, guys, today we are talking a little bit about the seller process. This topic we could go on for probably hours, um, but I'm gonna lay out a real just Reader's Digest version of what you can expect during the selling process because some of this, well, some of us have never sold a house or some of us don't know what that process looks like. And so today we're just gonna kind of walk through that and it really starts with the first step. And the first step is always interviewing agents. Um, no agent should take it personally if you tell them, hey, listen, I'd like to interview a few agents. I would expect that um, when someone's talking to me, um, I would encourage that because then you can kind of see who is the best fit for you. Maybe when you start to value, um, you know, why are they qualified to sell your house? Why, what value do they bring to you? These are your rights as, as, as the client to ask these and, and go ahead and ask the tough question and, and put them on the spot and ultimately find out who you feel you would work with the best because this is going to be a process um, you know not only just during the selling process but the follow-up and uh, ongoing relationships so make sure that you've you've done your due diligence and you find an agent that uh, you're gonna you're gonna work well with but also is qualified and brings you the value that you're looking for okay now once you've hired me uh, let's go through the next couple of steps here um, Let's talk about decluttering and depersonalizing the home. So that's really gonna be our first step is that we wanna be able to have the buyers see what it's gonna look like and feel what it's gonna look like to live in the home. So start to put away some of the items maybe that you have on end tables or the kitchens or maybe even some of the family pictures. Start to depersonalize and declutter a little so that when people walk in, they, they can imagine what their family is gonna look like in the home and not that <laughs> they're taking your family out of that home. So that's always a great step and, and it really leads leads us into the next step, which is getting professional videos and pictures taken. Um, all of our listings come with just professional pictures. It's just, there's nothing worse than catching the agent that's in the corner of a mirror taking a picture um, and trying to pass that off as if they've done a good job. Um, so we're going to get our professional team in there. We're going to do some pictures. Um, we're going to shoot some video. We're going to just use that stuff to paint the picture, put it out there with our marketing efforts um, to really put your, put your house in your home on a platform. All right, now once we get through that, um, we start to get into the showing phase. And this is where everybody's strategy is a little bit different. But in my opinion, there's nothing worse than having you on your toes at all times, having to have the house clean. I have three kids myself and and to have my house ready to go in a half hour notice could be challenging. Um, and it could be from just a overall cleanliness perspective. It could be from a timing perspective. So um, here with our team, we do a lot of strategic things to really plan those showings out so they work around your schedule. And we don't put any added stress on you because we all know this process is and can be stressful enough on its own. But once we get past that, we got an offer in hand, that's when we really go to work on our first negotiating tactics, okay? So we're gonna sit down, we're gonna review the offer and everything with what the buyer's asking for from timetables to um, finances, to splitting costs, things like that, and come up with a strategic plan that works for you guys. Now that may be that the offer presented in its case is works out great. It may be that we need to um, get into the negotiations and make sure that it is um, a win-win for our side as well. Uh, once we get past that and we get into escrow, um, which our team will handle with, you know, we'll get through our transaction coordinators, we'll introduce you to the rest of the team and we'll, we'll, we'll get it open with our title company. Um, you're gonna start to see the, the, the due diligence start to take place. And during that period, probably the biggest thing that everybody's gonna be worried about is the home inspection. So. During that, we're gonna let the buyer bring in their home inspector, they're gonna go through that, and then they're gonna to submit to us if they have any uh, requests for repairs. And that's at that time, we'll be able to go through that, we'll decide if we're gonna be fixing anything, not gonna be fixing anything, or potentially just offering a credit for the potential buyers to go ahead and fix things. Now, once we get past that stage, we'll move on to the appraisal. Most buyers, um, especially the ones that are doing financing, and we do have some cash buyers that will take advantage of this too, but they're going to come in for an appraisal. You know, want to see what the what the appraisers are valuing the home at. If they're financing, they just it, it, unfortunately it's a necessity in most cases. Um, but once we get past that, um, really it'll start to go into the final walkthrough. So now that we've cleared the home inspection, we've cleared the request for repairs, we've cleared the appraisal. It's now starting to get to that time where. This is becoming reality. It's start to, starting to box up the home, get things ready to move out. Um, and then in typically the last, you know, within the last three days of the transaction, the buyers are gonna come in and do a final walkthrough. And during that final walkthrough, they're really gonna be looking to make sure that the home is in its original shape is when they entered into the contract. So, you know, if there was, you know, bathtubs there, sinks there, and now all of a sudden they're missing, well, 
that's going to be a problem. Um, it's also an opportunity for the buyer to make sure that any repairs that have been agreed upon have been handled at that point. Once we do get a clean final walkthrough, that'll get sent over to title. Everything will go into that final stage and uh, title will take it from there, get us recorded, get the funds distributed, and we'll get those out to you. So I know that's a, a, a lot in a short period. It's kind of the Reader's Digest version. Uh, my team and I would love to sit down and review everything that we do um, in more detail and give you a little bit more time if that's something that you think would benefit you. But as always, start with interviewing your agents. And if you have any questions about this process, please don't hesitate to reach out. You always can find our contact information in the description um, and reach out. We'd love to have a conversation and make sure that we help get you started on the right foot to selling your home.